Part 5.7 of the Killer Food Plots Food Plot Series. The Killer Food Plot Chicory is the money plot. Why do we call it the money plot? It puts down a 14 to 16 inch taproot the size of my pinky. I use it in all my management plans on its own and we often blend it with our resurrection clover. What is the most important thing in a whitetail's diet? Protein. The killer food plot chicory is packed full of protein. In fact, it's 40 plus percent green protein. Absolute staple and should be a staple in your whitetail food plot regimen. Chicory is very versatile in the fact that as a perennial, it produces for three to five years in the soil. It requires very little maintenance. And that is a key point to why using KFP chicory can produce the results for you year in and year out. It does not require mowing, but it will require fertilizing. If you blend it with the resurrection clover chicory combination, the clover can produce nitrogen to supplement your fertilizing regimen, but I would still recommend that you're fertilizing about 150 pounds two to three times a year in when it's combined with the resurrection clover. On its own as a standalone food plot, I would feed 150 pounds of a triple 19 or a groganics uh, application at a uh, consistent pace of spring, summer, and early fall to make sure that it has the nutrients it needs to produce the maximum tonnage for your deer. So when do you plant the KFP chicory? Well, it can be planted in the early spring or summer. You want to make sure that the midsummer July time frame, you try to stay away from that because grass and weeds are at their peak. Then you can come back in, in late summer, early fall, killing off all the grass and weeds. You get on the other side of that, and then you get that chicory planted. It produces quickly, and it can produce uh, upwards of 12 to 14 inch tall vegetation and produce high quality, highly digestible, high protein forage for that early season on through to spring. Your deer will often dig to get at the chicory later in the season after it's covered up with snow. So don't give up on your chicory after the season changes. It's definitely a go-to food plot source for your recovering bucks and your recovering does. So how do you plant the killer food plot chicory? The beautiful thing about the chicory is it can be frost seeded much like your clovers which we talked about earlier. What does that mean? Broadcasting the KFP chicory during that time of the season in the late winter, early spring, when we have the frost heaving out of the ground and we have the heavy rains coming. When you have a relatively clean slate to work with, ideally following a brassica planting or some type of a fall planting, you go out and broadcast right over the top of the surface your killer food plot chicory, allowing the heaving of the frost in and out of the soil, followed by the snow, followed by the thaw, followed by the rain, to set the seed right at the surface and in creating a highly effective food plot by being the first thing to green up and the beauty of the KFP chicory in starting it in a frost seeding condition is it gets a head start ahead of all the grass and weeds. The other th historical way of planting a standalone killer food plot is that you would work up your seed bed working all your soil correction in, then you want to harrow drag or smooth or firm that seed bed. Once firmed, you can use a roller or a cultipacker as well, you want to broadcast the killer food plot chicory out onto the surface of your seed bed and then you want to roll or cultipack it again, setting the seed or firming the seed right at the surface so that we have good seed soil contact assuring the maximum germination and the success of your killer food plot chicory.